Hello, welcome to Mowgli TV. In this short video, I'm gonna show you Screen Shake, which is a free effect for Resolume that you can get from the Resolume forum, link in the description. Screen Shake works for the latest version of Resolume, which currently is 7.18.2. It will most likely not work with previous versions, although being free, if you got an older version, it's worth giving it a try. I place the effect here on my composition and I've got this clip. It's a very self-explanatory effect. Basically, it shakes whatever you place it on. It's got this button so you can trigger the shake whenever you want, which is very handy if you want to map that to your keyboard or a button of your MIDI controller so that whenever you need to give things a shake, you've got it readily accessible, which makes it a very performative effect. Next down, you've got a series of settings that change the way the shake works. The cooldown is how long the shake lasts. So when it's short, if you press, it just does a tiny shake. If you take it all the way, the shake lasts for a while with a single trigger. Next, we've got the heaviness, which I've got on maximum at the moment. And heaviness is basically the frequency of the shake. So that's how many shakes per second. So if you bring it down, it's a bit more gentle. If you bring it up, it's more like a vibration. Then we've got shakiness, which is how far the video is going to move with every shake. So you put it all the way, it'll move around quite a lot. Move it down, it'll be more contained. Then there's vertigo, which adds a tilt to the shake. So without vertigo, the shake is moving in the X and Y axis. If you turn vertigo on, it will actually rotate as well. So that's without vertigo that is with vertigo. Next, we've got compensation. What compensation does is if you've got a clip that is filling your screen, it'll compensate so that you don't see the edges of the clip as it shakes. If we shake here, you can see some of the edges. So if you compensate, it will try to fill the screen. There are some limits to this, so you need to tweak this accordingly. So here's a neat little trick that you can use, not just with screen shake, but with any effect or source that has a button. It might not be self evident, but you can assign a button to BPM or FFD, which is what I'm going to do here. So let's just select composition FFD. And this clip I've got here is also got audio. I'm just going to re-trigger the clip, bring the audio up. And basically you see there's a highlighted area there. It will trigger when the FFT drives the head past that. So we need to increase that a bit. And as you can see now, it is shaking. This can take quite a bit of tweaking between your gain and fall settings so that it only triggers the shake when you want it to trigger. But it's extremely useful because it allows you to use your hands and your mind to do other things. You can have this set up so that when the music reaches a certain threshold, you can use all the parameters in FFT. So you could actually use the brackets here to target a very specific frequency if you want. That's it in a nutshell screen shake as always please like and subscribe if you like this video as it helps me keep doing them and i hope to see you next time